Hi and welcome to Easy Internet Guides and our free FTP training guide. Today I'm going to show you how you transfer a file from your computer to the internet and do that through something called cPanel. Now cPanel is available when you get a hosting account that includes cPanel hosting. So like for example over at namehosted.com you'll find uh, here's reseller accounts they also have regular um, hosting as well. If you scroll down here, you'll see that they use cPanel, which makes life a lot easier to manage your business. The reason for that is once you log into cPanel, this is a back end. All you do is go to your domain name.com forward slash and then the word cPanel. And then your hosting provider will give you a password and access information. And you log in there and you've got all these wonderful little gizmos and gadgets that are available to you. The one we want to look at today is actually called File Manager. So if we click that, and he wants us to take us to the root directory. So we'll say, yep, yeah, that's fine of the account. This is my demo account we use for videos. And here you can see we've got different files and folders. Now this now basically what you're seeing here, this is actually on the internet. This isn't on my computer. This is what's available on my website. Now at the moment, I don't have a demo folder. So I want to create one. So all we need to do is if we go along to this part here, it says new folder and we click. And we name the folder, let's call it demo, because that's what we're going to be doing here today. And you'll see it's now created a little directory for me. And if we double click, we go to the directory, which is empty. There's nothing in here. So if we want to upload some content, we could do that. Um, but I'm going to actually upload a sound domain. I'm going to actually upload a zip file. So the file's been zipped. But again, cPanel's upload or FTP will do all this for us. So first of all, we want to upload a file. So we go to upload. And then it's going to ask us to choose a file and we're going to choose a file on our computer. So we click and here you've got um, two folders on my computer. Now you see this is desktop. This is actually on my computer now. And in here we've got a little file that plays uh, an audio piece. And here's the zip file. So I'm going to upload it as a zip file. We could upload them individually if we wanted to. But I'm going to make my life easier. I'm going to upload it as a zip. Choose open. You can set permissions on here if you want to, and it's already automatically starting its upload. It's doing the work for us, and once it's completed, it'll let us know that it's done. And you can see here that it's actually finished. It says completed. So if you go to the directory now, we see we now have a zip file that's located. If I choose this little directory, I'll show you. We'll scale it down. Here's the demo folder that we created in the beginning. Here's the zip file. If I now click on this and choose this, extract here, I want to extract it to the same folder we're in. So we say extract file. And we can see it's told us what it's done here. We choose close. You'll now see it's created a new folder. And if we double click inside, there is those parts here. So if we go to our domain name, forward slash demo, forward slash sound demo, we should then actually see it. So let's open a new page and let's go ahead. So I've just put in my demo here, my demo and my file, and let's hit enter. You can see it's loading. Here's that file that we've uploaded, and if we hit play. You can see that it starts playing. So it's uploaded that file for us, and we've all done that. The FTP has taken place by using our own cPanel to upload. Now there are other ways you can do it and there's softwares that you can use that are perhaps easier if you're doing lots of files because there's limitations on the file size sometimes with cPanel. So there is software you can use and that will show in other videos. There are also free ones available to you as well. But if you've got cPanel and you want to do something quickly, then that's an easy way for you to just transfer files from your computer to the internet very easily. Thanks for watching.